Diva Harja and welcome back to Irish with Rosie. This video is going to be all about how to introduce yourself and others in Irish. Now I'm sure for some of y'all watching, you may recognize some to even all of these phrases I'll talk about in this video, depending on where you are in your Irish journey. But if there's anyone out there just now starting their Irish learning journey, or even just thinking about learning the language, you may find this to be a very helpful video in how to have a very basic conversation in Irish. Okay, so the first thing you probably want to say when you first meet somebody is, Hi. And for the record, in Irish, you can say, Hi. But it'll be spelled, Hi. But a slightly more formal, but also very common way to say hello in Irish is, Gia ditch, Gia ditch and you can see it written there as the top phrase on the other side of the screen. Some people say a slightly different version, and they'll say Gia Rich, Gia Rich. The beginning of that word is sort of a gargling G sound in the back of your throat, Rich. Now the first way I said it, ditch, is that word there that's spelled D-U-I-T. The second way I said it, Rich, is D-H-U-I-T. So you can just pick whichever way that you like best and say it that way. I even know of some people who will spell it the first way, but say it the second way. So there's definitely some variation in how you'll see it spelled and hear it said. Now that's what you'd say if you say hello to one person. But if you're saying hello to two or more people, you'll change ditch to div and rich to leave. Gia div. Gia-rive. Now that'll make more sense if you know literally what that phrase is saying. So, Gia is God, and Ditch is for you or to you, and Div is for y'all or to y'all. So, when you say hello to someone in Irish, you're kind of saying God to you, or God to y'all. Now, let's pretend that someone has said hello to you. Now, you'll want to say hello in return. To do that, you can't just say hi back the exact same way. You'll have to change the phrase just a little bit. So, the first way, they said God to you. If you say back, you need to say God and Mary to you. Gia Esmuradich, or Gia Esmuradich. And again, if you're talking to more than one person, Gia Esmuradiv, or Gia Esmuradiv. Now that we've said hello, let's ask the other person how they're doing. There's three basic ways that you'll hear this said in Irish. And these different ways are region-specific ways. Now, of course, you can pick any way you want to say it and say it that way. But it will be helpful for us to know and be aware of what region each phrase is generally associated with. Let's start with the Ulster version of how are you. Ulster is the region in the north of Ireland. It's also the version that I generally lean toward um, in my learning journey and therefore also what I share with y'all here on my channel. So anyway, in Ulster they would say Kajemaratatu, Kajemaratatu. Some people in Ulster will even change the sound slightly in ata and say ate. Kajemaratatu. You'll hear it both ways in Ulster. Now for the Connacht version. Connacht is a region in Ireland that's on the west coast of the island. It's below Ulster and above Munster. Kind of squeezed in between the two in the middle. But anyway, in Connacht, they'll say, Ceichi will to, Ceichi will to. If we slow down and actually look at the words we're saying, it's technically, Cain hui o will to. But in ordinary speech, the N sound in cane is left off, and so is the O uh sound in O oh will. Kehi will to. Now let's do the Munster version of how are you. Munster is a region in Ireland that's to the south of Connacht. In fact, it's basically at the very south of Ireland. They'll say, Cunis a tatu, Cunis a tatu. Now you'll notice a common word in the Munster version and the Ulster version, a ta. And the difference you hear in the pronunciation is really focused on that A with an accent mark over it. That accent mark is called a fada. 
In Ulster, an A with a fada over it will either sound like a uh or a. Eh. In Connacht and Munster, it'll be pronounced like a. Uh. So, kajemar tatu, kanas atatu. Now, if someone asked you how you were doing, to tell them that you are fine or you're well, you say, tame, I am, gobra, fine, or tame, gomai, I am well. You could even leave off tame and just say gobra or gomai, which would be the English equivalent of just saying fine or well. Now, the way I said both of those words, bra and mai, are the Ulster way of saying them. Also in Ulster, you'll hear gobra. In Connacht and Munster, however, they'd say gobra and goma. Now, after you say that you're doing fine, probably you'd want to ask the other person how they're doing. And the easiest way to do that is to just say agus tu hain, agus tu hain, which just means and yourself. Notice that I pronounced the last word there, f e f a d i n, as hain, as though it starts with an h. That's the way I've mostly heard it pronounced, but I know that some people pronounce it fain, so you could say that too. Agus to fain. Now, one of the most important parts in like a basic meet and greet conversation is to ask someone what their name is. And once again, there are three basic ways to do that. Each one associated with the same three different regions in Ireland, Ulster, Connacht, and Munster. Let's start with the Ulster way. Canyam ata ort. Canyam ata ort. When you say it faster, it'll sound like canyam ata ort. Canyam ata ort. And that's basically a shortened version of the Connacht way to say it, which is can tanyam ata ort. Can tanyam ata ort. Both of those literally mean which name is on you. The Munster version is a little bit different, and it's Cad is Anum Ditch. Cad is Anum Ditch. Which more literally means what is a name for you. Now, of course, the easiest way to answer a question like that is to just say your name in return. Just like you can do in English. What's your name? Rosie. Or Kanyamataort. Rosie. But another way you could answer that question is to say is Misha and then your name. Is Misha basically means I am. You can even leave off the is part and just say Misha and your name. Misha Rosie. Now there are a couple of ways where you can literally say my name is blank, which I'll get to in just a couple of minutes. But first, let's pretend that you were asked what your name is, and then you told the other person your name. Well, the next logical step would probably be to ask them what their name is. Now, in English, to ask this question in return would probably rely on some vocal emphasis. So, they asked, what's your name? You said, my name is. Then you would ask back, what's your name? With vocal emphasis on your. Well, a similar thing is done in Irish, except you can't just rely on vocal emphasis. You have to actually put a suffix on the word that's emphasized, and that's called an emphatic form of the word. Let's start with the Ulster and Connacht versions of this. In both of these versions, we'll want to emphasize the word ort, which means on you. To do that, we'll add a suffix, S A and ort will become ortsa. Kanyamata ortsa. What's your name? Or what is the name on you? Or Kane Tanyamata ortsa. What is the name on you? With the Munster version, the word we'll want to emphasize is ditch for you. It will take on an S E suffix and become ditcha. Kadisanyam ditcha. What's your name? Now, once again, let's pretend that we're going to answer that question. But this time, I'll show y'all how to say, my name is. Now, the structure in Irish is more literally saying, blank is my name. So there's two different versions. Let's start with the version you'd use in Ulster and Connacht. You'd say your name, and then 
antennum atorum, antennum atorum. So I'll go first. Rosie, antennum atorum. My name is Rosie, or literally, Rosie is the name on me. Now you try. Well, I can't hear you, but I bet you did good. Now let's do the Munster version. You'd say your name, and then it's anyum dum. So in my case, I'd say Rosie, it's anyum dum. Rosie is the name for me. Now you try. I like that name. <laughs> now every time I hear that version of it, it's anyum dum, it makes me think of the short film You Ming is anyum dum. I'm sure some of y'all have probably seen that film, but if you haven't, I really recommend watching it, and I'll put the link down below. A quick synopsis of the movie, though, is like, it's this Chinese guy, and he teaches himself Irish in China, and then he goes to Ireland, really looking forward to using the language, only to kind of be disappointed to find out that most people in Ireland don't use Irish on a daily basis. And that was kind of sad, but it doesn't have a sad ending, and I really recommend it. So. Now that you and the other person have introduced yourself to each other, you might want to say, it's nice to meet you. There's two different ways that you can say this. And as far as I know, they're not each associated with like a certain region in Ireland. It's just two different ways. And you can pick whichever way you like and say it. So the first way, Ta she gojas bwalu lat. Ta she gojas bwalu lat. It's nice to meet you. Or more literally, it is nice meeting with you. The other way is very similar. It's jas lum bwalulat. It's jas lum bwalulat. Which more means it's nice with me meeting with you. And again, to say it in return, we'll want to emphasize part of that sentence as well as adding the word to to the end. Like, it's nice to meet you too. So in both of those versions, the word we want to emphasize is lot, which means with you. We'll add an S-A suffix to the end, and lot will become lotsa, with you, with you. And we'll also add the word fosta to the end, which means to or also. Fosta is the word that's used in Ulster, but you could also use the word freshen which I believe is more common in Connacht and Munster. So let's try it. Tashe gojas bolulat safosta. It's nice to meet you too. Or is jaslam bolulat safosta. Is jaslam bolulat safosta. It's nice to meet you too. Now, when you tell somebody that it's nice meeting them, it's probably a really good opportunity to use that person's name in direct address. Now, to do that in Irish, you can't just say the person's name. Like, it's nice to meet you, Deirdre. What you'll have to do in Irish is you add a sound before the person's name. Uh. On paper, that's spelled just A as a separate word before the name. And then, if the person's name starts with a consonant, Besides L, N, or R, you'll add an H after the initial consonant of their name, and it'll change the sound of their name. This is a process called lenition, and I did a video, actually a couple of videos on lenition, and I'll link the first one I did down below, and you can watch that to get more information about how lenition changes the sound of each consonant of the Irish alphabet. But just as an example for this time, let's use Deirdre. It's nice to meet you, Deirdre. Ta she go jas bwalulat a yirdre. The sound of her name changed from Deirdre to yirdre. And we added a before it, a yirdre. If the person's name starts with L, N, or R, then you'll still say uh before their name, but their name won't be lenited. So my name's a good example, Rosie. If you were to tell me it's nice to meet me, <laughs> then you'd say Tashe go jas wolulat a Rosie. If the person's name starts with a vowel, again you'll just add uh before and leave it alone. Tashe go jas wolulat a orla. And one thing to keep in mind is that some Irish male names that end 
um, with a consonant will go through a process called slenderizing, which basically usually just means an I will be added before the final consonant of their name, and that will also change the ending sound of their name a little bit. I won't worry too much about that right now. I want to do a separate video at some point about direct address in Irish. But just as an example, let's use Seamus for now. Ta se go jas a lot a hamush. So we lenited the beginning of his name and the sound turned from she to he, like an H. And then we slenderized the end of his name and the whole thing went from sounding like Seamus to a hamush. But again, I'll talk with y'all more about that some other time in a separate video. Now let's imagine that we're in a situation where the person you just met is with another person or maybe two or more people and you'd like to know what his or her or their names are. Well, if the person that's with them is a male, then you could ask, Agus ke which means, and who's this? Or you could ask, Agus ke which means, and who's that? Now, just like with English, I'd be a little bit careful about using the version that's who's that, especially if the person's standing right there for some reason, it just sounds a little bit rude to me, but I think there would be some situations where it's appropriate to use that version. Like, for example, if you clearly saw that this other person you met is with a friend, and that friend went to go stand in line and get some funnel cake right over there, then you could probably ask, and who's that over there? Now, if it's a female they're with, you change it slightly and ask, I guess, ke he show? And who's this? Or, Agus ke he shin? And who's that? Now, in response to such a question, you'll probably want to say, this is, and then the person's name, or who they are to you, or that is. Now, if it's a male, and you want to say, this is, you'll say, sho he. Sho he. Now, if you look at it written, it looks like sho e, which it is. But I've noticed that when people say that, there's sort of an H sound placed in between the shaw and the A for some reason, and it's shaw he. And if it's a male and you want to say that is, then you say shin a, with no H sound, just shin a. If it's a female, you'll say shaw he, this is, or shin e, that is. So let's do some imaginary fill in the blanks. Shaw he. Sean, this is Sean. Shinny Orla, that's Orla. Shinny Mohara, Miho, that's my friend Miho. Shahi Moyer for Sheila, this is my sister Sheila. Now, if the other person is with two or more people and you'd like to know their names, then you'd ask, Kehiad Shaw, who are these? Or Kehiad Shin, who are those? And you would answer by saying, Shahid, these are, or Shinid, those are. So, for example, Kehid Shah, Shahid Moharja, Sarah, Agus, Amy. These are my friends, Sarah and Amy. Okay, so so far this has been a very like, simplistic conversation, and any real life conversation probably wouldn't go exactly like this, but let's pretend it did, and that you're wrapping things up and you're going to say, it was nice meeting you, or it was nice meeting y'all. Again, there's two different ways to say this. When we said it in the present tense, it is nice to meet you, we said, ta she go jas bualulat. In the past tense, we'll change ta to vi. Vi she go jas bualulat. It was nice meeting you. Or if you're saying it to more than one person, Vishe Gujas Bwalu live. Vishe Gujas Bwalu live. The present tense of the second version was Is Jaslam Bwalulat. The past tense is Bayaslam Bwalulat. Or to more than one person, Bayaslam Bwalu live. Notice that the past tense of the second version. The word jas for nice turned to yas, and it's spelled differently. 
D E A S turned to D H E A S. Jas to yes. And to say it back, you'll repeat the same phrase back to them, but emphasize one of the words and add fosta or freshen. So in both of these versions, the word we'll want to emphasize is lot, if you're talking to one person, or live, if you're talking to two or more people. So lot will turn to lotsa, and live will turn to livesha. Vishe go jas vuelu lotsa fosta, or Vishe go jas vuelu livesha fosta. And for the second version, bayaslam vuelu lotsa fosta, or bayaslam vuelu livesha fosta. It was nice meeting you, too. Or it was nice meeting y'all, too. And just like with any good conversation, the last thing you'll want to say is bye. In Irish, all you have to do is say slan. Now that's how it's pronounced in Ulster. Also in Ulster, you'll hear slan. And in Connacht and Munster, you'll hear slan. Slan literally means like health or safety. So when you're telling someone bye, you're kind of like wishing them safety. There are a couple of variations on how to say bye that I haven't included written here, but I'll tell them to you vocally. So let's pretend that you're a person staying somewhere and you're saying goodbye to someone leaving the place you're at and going somewhere else. You'd tell that person slan lot, if it's one person, if it's two or more people, slan live, which basically means like safety with you. Now if you're the person leaving and you're saying bye to someone staying, then you'd say slan agat, if it's one person, or slan agiv, if it's two or more people. And that basically means health or safety at you. And one last version, if you're saying goodbye to someone who's going home, you could say slanawala, which means safety homewards. Now the last page I have here is just some useful vocabulary that you could use to like fill in some of those blanks if you're saying this is or that is and introducing somebody. So, for example, we have my dad, dad in Irish, if you remember from my last video on the family members, is daji. My dad is moyaji. Just like when we use direct address in Irish, and, for example, the name Deirdre turns to a yerdre when you're addressing her, well, after the possessive pronoun my, which in Irish is mo, then every lenitable consonant in Irish is lenited, and the sound changes. So again, I really encourage you to watch my video on lenition, which is linked in the description box below. But moving on, then we've got my mom. Mom is mommy. My mom, Mawami. Friend is Kara. My friend, Mohara. Friends is Karja. My friends, Moharja. You've probably heard that word at the beginning of my videos, because I usually always say, Giadiv Aharja. Hi, friends. Husband, Farkela. My husband, Markela. Wife, Ban Hela. My wife, Movan Hela. Boyfriend, Buho. My boyfriend, Mowuho. Girlfriend, Kaleen. My girlfriend, Mohaleen. The words for boyfriend and girlfriend both also just mean boy and girl, but they also double as the words for boyfriend and girlfriend. Okay, I think we did it. We got through another video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, make sure to give me a thumbs up, please, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you found these notes on the other side of the screen to be helpful, you can find them all on my Instagram and also on my Facebook page. I'll link both posts down below. And make sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram, especially on Instagram because I post way more stuff on there than I do on Facebook. Basically, the only reason I have Facebook is because I like to post my video notes there because you can actually download them from Facebook, whereas on Instagram you just have to screenshot them, which is kind of lame. But I post way more stuff on Instagram, so follow me there. Now, for my next video, I have like three or four different ones in the works, and I'm not sure which one I'm going to be actually doing next, but it should be good. So make sure to join me there, and I'll see you all next time. Slime go full. Oh yeah, that reminds me, that's another way to say bye. Slangafol, which basically just means bye for now. Okay, now I'm really done. Bye.